It seems like with the lead up to the release of Hasman Hotel, drama surrounding Vivzi is only becoming more consistent as the weeks go on. In my last video, I went over some of the recent meme drama surrounding Vivzi Pop, and unfortunately, it seems to have only continued to spiral out of control. Things have only escalated since my original video, which I'll be taking a look through today. If you do enjoy these kinds of breakdowns, be sure to subscribe to keep up to date. Anyway, moving on to today's topic. After the huge kickoff surrounding the whole Kane meme, it only inspired more and more people to jump in and start a trend getting it up on the trending tab on a few occasions. Some of the more popular ones I saw included Adventure Time, Scott Pilgrim, Family Guy, etc etc. All going with a template basically following If X was written by Vivzipom. All the other swearing memes also fed into this whole cycle, making it fit alongside any kind of post remotely related to Helliver, Hasbin, or Vivzipom. It's even spread throughout both TikTok and Instagram, which shouldn't really be a surprise. And to be fair, to start with this trend was kind of funny, but after having the entire timeline covered in it for a week, it's gotten pretty stale pretty fast. Losing the initial fun it had to start with, and now it just feels more mean-spirited. Sam Haft commented on the Adventure Time post saying, What's especially funny is the reason that this specific example of the meme is popping off more than others is because the style of writing. When well done is genuinely entertaining. That's why so many people like our show. Half the replies are Hasbun Hotel fans laughing their asses off. And not to poke around the discourse, but in my opinion, the swearing is much less of a hallmark of Viv's writing generally than it is a hallmark of her writing for Brendan as Blitz. Speaking as a friend and collaborator, if I had to define her writing style, I'd call it gay Broadway Bojack dramedy. Almost all her content does have something in common, and it's not saying bad words. It focuses on misunderstood LGBT characters learning how to let people in and create a found family. The swearing is incidental to the protagonist to one show. That's my take. Vivzi didn't really comment on the situation except with a funny comment to Sam Haft's initial thread which I'll throw up on screen now. After this whole negative trend towards Vivzi kicked off, the usual suspect Chai footsteps chimed in with another one of their threads on Vivzi. It's kind of insane to go through this person's online presence since Vivzi Pop is the only thing they post about day in and day out. On this particular thread, it's just a bunch of debunked situations some of which I've gone over myself in the Patreon video, which I'll have linked below if you want to learn more about that specifically. Another user also decided to make an extensive thread heading on some of Vivzi's merch, which also gained a fair bit of traction. Pretty much all the points they make against the merch is just random unconstructive hyperbole, calling it bad. The best example to demonstrate how bad faith they are is this one talking about how it's bad because they're selling merch of Moxie's dad, who's bad and wrong in the show. This is kind of self-explanatory, but villains are a very popular selling point for any kind of production, so I've no idea why they even have to make this point to begin with. The best example I've seen people respond to it with is Darth Vader, who's obviously a very big villain, and is also very popular. To kind of wrap up the whole post, they decided to start promoting their own stuff under the hate thread, which I find to be in poor taste, honestly, and it makes it kind of difficult for them to ride on such a high horse about someone else. A lot of this new hate for Vivzi in the shows has also started to spread into the new posts about the Hasman Hotel trailer, with most of it being the same old swearing gag and just calling it bad. One particular scene that was mentioned a lot was the Angel Dust one, which I saw a lot of negativity surrounding, which is unfortunate. Personally, I think the trailer has some potential and I'm interested to see the final product we've been waiting for all this time. Anyway, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. If you have any thoughts surrounding these situations, let me know in the comments down below. But thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.